So after having come back from my two week break and repainting Studio Series Ravage, which I had a ton of fun with, I love this little guy. I can't help but feel like it was really a warm up, an appetizer, if you will. Well, today we've got a main course. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. So good to have you back. Today, we do have part one of our repaint of Studio Series 72 Starscream into Skywarp. Now, I absolutely do plan on keeping the transformation, which is gonna make this repaint just a tad hair more tricky. There's a lot of moving parts on here, and I need to make sure that they still have room to move after the repaint. And as far as modifications, there really isn't gonna be much done, except for one thing. I absolutely do wanna get the null rays attached to the arms, a la G1. Now, the problem is that this flat peg might not be long enough to attach to the arm, while giving me enough clearance on this forearm section. But shout outs to King444 Dino for giving me the excellent recommendation of using the round peg instead and drilling a hole into the forearm. I think that at the end of the day, that's gonna give us a very nice look. But before we can even start working on that, let's get them disassembled. So this is a major pin here that I do want to take off, but the exit is partially being blocked by this plastic here. However, it is soft enough where I think I can just slightly bend it out of the way. I'd love to take out this pin as well, but it's got a white head at the other side. I'm still gonna give it a little bit of a tap, only because it's so small. No, this one's gonna have to stay in place. So we now have Starscream into a million little pieces. I am surprised how the thrusters were a completely separate piece, but that allows them to put more detail into this section. It's gonna make it a lot easier to weather up too, which should be fun. And there are a couple of pieces that were a lot softer plastic, like the canopy and the nose cone. They're almost like rubber, so I'm not going to risk ruining these by trying to strip the paint. 
But as for the rest of the pieces, we have our strip of solution ready, which is once again nine parts, 91% isopropyl alcohol and one part lacquer thinner. We'll come back and check on them after about 30 to 45 minutes. So we now have all of our pieces cleaned up and I'm letting them dry off a little bit. Unfortunately, we did run into an issue. On this pretty pivotal hinge for the transformation, we do have a bit of a hairline fracture here. Worst case scenario, I can glue the whole thing together and just not have a transformation. But what I'm going to try first is to apply a little bit of super glue into the broken section and then move the hinge back and forth so the whole thing doesn't stick together. Hopefully that'll add a bit of strength to this part. The other side, however, is in worse shape as the piece is completely separated. And we actually have two fractures here. I'm still gonna try and save it though, but if anything, it's gonna be pretty delicate afterwards. I'm going to let these pieces dry first and then we'll give that a shot. And while we wait for those pieces to dry, let's work on those null rays. So what the heck happened? Well, as expected, the crazy glue didn't just take hold onto the cracked piece itself. It was, of course, touching the gray plastic, which is why I kept folding it back and forth. But unfortunately, the red plastic actually got stuck to the pin inside. So as I turned the whole thing, the red plastic turned with it, causing it to break even more. I've now just glued the whole thing in place, which unfortunately, that puts an end to our transformable custom. But it wasn't all failures. We did get the Norways attached onto the arms, which I think they look great. Thank you once again, Akeem444 Dino, for giving me that awesome recommendation. But join me next week where we will start adding some primer and some color as well. And of course, feel free to follow me on all the socials where you can catch all of my updates and join my live gaming streams, not just on YouTube, but on Twitch as well. But thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all next week where it'll be nothing but smooth sailing from now on. Right? Anybody? Hello?